plea by Dennis Bowman would not have happened without the intuition and determination of Andrea's biological mother. Now, her mother doesn't call her Andrea. She calls her Alexis, the name she gave her as a little girl. It's the way she wants Alexis to be remembered rather than the name given to her by the family who ultimately took her life. This should have been put in its place 32 years ago. For decades, the justice system has felt more like one of injustice to Kathy Turkanen. It's across the board. You know, it's the school, it's CPS, it's the, the police, it's the church, it's across the board. It's the adoption agency that put her in his, all of it. But Wednesday, finally some peace. The man who killed Kathy's biological daughter, Alexis, known as Andrea Bowman, will spend the rest of his life in prison for what he did to Alexis. Had he pled guilty, I would have been happier, but I know what no contest is. I, I know what that means. Kathy never knew her daughter. The Bowmans adopted Alexis when she was nine months old. I never heard my daughter's voice. I don't know if she's left-handed or right-handed, but I know her through and through. Since finding out her daughter died, a laser-focused Kathy has followed her intuition. I knew he did this. If I'd had to look one other direction, I might have gone crazy. In time, everything Kathy felt for years proven true. Four years of just stomping my foot and, you know, making as much noise as possible. Right down to where he buried Alexis's body under a concrete slab on his property. So I just became convinced he buried her in his yard so he could control what happened as long as he didn't open his mouth now advice for others frustrated with the system you're not powerless her research her diligence worked out i think it's a road map you know if you know you're right don't don't go on a detour don't be taken on detour saying you're only here on this earth once she's making her time here count life's ruthless you're gonna suffer in the story but you'll be resilient if you remember that. Kathy plans to make a victim impact statement at the sentencing hearing next year and one day hopes to have her daughter's remains in her possession so she can be buried next to her. Kathy also told me today this story and this cold case is going to be turned into an HBO special. Live in studio, Julie Dunmire, Fox 17 News.